Next, delight at the news that West Bridgeford Colts Football Club has been declared an asset of community value by Rushcliffe Borough Council. What that means is that if the owners of the land decide to sell the site, they must give the club a chance to buy it first. Rushcliffe MP Ruth Edwards says community hubs like football clubs are more important to the community now than ever. Alice Scarf reports. The West Bridgeford Colts is home to a staggering 115 football teams, making it the largest youth football club in Britain. The club has recently applied for a 3G pitch to be able to host more sessions and develop two disability teams, but has had a battle to extend their lease. Rushcliffe Borough Council have given the Colts a community value asset status to help protect the club. The club are, uh, want to apply um, for uh, funding um, for a, from the Football Foundation uh, for a new all-weather artificial pitch. Um, and in order to do that, um, they need to be able to extend um, their, their lease um, on their, their regatta way ground. So we are now helping the club to talk to the landowner to try and get them um, to extend the lease so that the club um, can go and, um, and expand and serve many more of the, the young players that it does already. Chairman of the Colts, Peter Stanbury, wants to make sure that the Colts are there for the future and continue to provide sporting opportunities for children in the community. If you walk down through West Bridgeford, you'll see kids in football kit on a Saturday morning. And it's, it's, just, it's just what they do, um, you know. Kids love to play football, and particularly at the moment with, you know, all the problems, you know, the country's got. I, I and, you know, all the volunteers that, you know, work with West Bridgeford Colts think that it's very important we continue to, you know, provide, provide sporting opportunities for kids. It's good for their physical health, but it's just also good for their their general well-being and, you know, playing in a team and playing with their friends. Ruth knows how important exercise and open spaces are now more than ever during this time. This is just such a fantastic um, facility. Peter Stansbury and his team do so much uh, for the community. So many parent volunteers help train young people as well. And that's why I think it's so important that the clubs stay where they are at Regatta Way and can expand and offer the opportunities they do to even more young people. Peter hopes to develop the ground with a 3G pitch, which will then be able to host two disability teams and more training sessions. The reasons for wanting to have a 3G pitch is so that the club can develop um, and bring in, you know, we've got an opportunity now to bring in two disabled teams and just further expand, you know, all parts of the club, including girls, which is a very important part of the club now. I think we've got 18 and 19 teams. Um, so, yeah, it's, we've... We just want to continue doing what we're doing and we don't want to be kicked off. Let's hope the West Bridgeford Colts can keep adding to their vast football community. Alice Scarf for Nuts TV.